then, you know, it probably will be taken. And in my mind, I'm like, bitch, if you don't want me to live here, you could just say that. Oh, real hot girl shit. Friday and today is <laughs> what did he say <laughs> today is Friday and this is the start of a apartment hunting vlog so I have done ow I hurt my side I think I have like my chair has been fucking up my back doesn't matter um y'all don't care the point is <laughs> We are apartment hunting yet again. I looked for an apartment before here in Atlanta, which is how I ended up where I am now. Where I am now has been ghetto as shit. It's been terrible. I didn't tell y'all just because like I feel like I've complained about this apartment enough and I told y'all I'm gonna do a story time anyway about just what I've experienced here. So I'm trying to save that all for that but y'all tell me why Tuesday night I heard fireworks. It's the middle of August. There, I, I mean, unless I'm missing something, there isn't a holiday. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't care. We're getting out of here anyway. So, tomorrow, which is Saturday, I will be going to the north side of town. Right now, I'm in the south side. We're going to the north side of town, and we're looking for an apartment because it's suburban up there and, like, just a little bit safer. I'm not going to Buckhead. We're not doing that because Buckhead has been a shooting range basically. That whole area, Lennox, a shooting range. We're not going there. <laughs> We're not going there. We're not going to, to Buckhead or Decatur. We're going north, 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 north. Marietta, Kennesaw vibes. So I'm going to be touring three apartments. They're all different price ranges. The first one that I'm going to be touring is the most expensive. It's $13.50. Good God, $13.50? <sighs> Christ. Um, then there's another one that's at 2 p.m. and it's the cheapest. It's $1,100, which is basically what I pay here now. And then the one I'm touring at 4 p.m. is $1,200. So that's like the mid tier. So we'll see. Um, $1,350, girl. What was I thinking? <sighs> I'm like, think, I'm like, bitch, what? But you know what? It depends. If it's really nice then I might have to consider it. The one thing, so since moving to Atlanta, I forgot like I live in a big city now um, because everything is just harder to do. Like finding a job for me took me two months because the job market is so competitive out here because it's so many people and like looking for an apartment has also been just very difficult because even though I don't move until November 1st, that's the day that I will be moving out, um, looking for an apartment that's available in two months has been very difficult like everywhere is like we don't have anything until 2022 like literally everywhere i've been going has been like we don't have anything until january one of them had the nerve to tell me they won't have anything until next summer i'm like so then why do you have avail like why do you have it say availability when y'all y'all not gonna be available for another year so, um, or everything's just like expensive. Like if you want to live nice, like nice, you're paying $1,700. And that's not, it sounds like I'm like dragging it, but that's not it. Like literally, if you want to live nice here in Atlanta, you're paying $1,700. I don't have $1,700 to pay every single month. So with that being said, um, my cap is $1,300. Again, I don't know why I have the $1,350 one on there. But if it's really, really nice, then I might just have to suck it up and like get a second job or something. Um, that way I can afford it. But right now, your girl is 
you know we're tr we're doing our best so this is my part one of me touring apartments here in Atlanta um, I'm probably gonna have two consecutive vlogs because I'm touring apartments this weekend and then I'm gonna tour apartments next weekend and then I don't know if I'm going to Charlotte the weekend after or if I will push that off and tour another set of apartments so we'll see but I will try to record each apartment that I go to I won't share with y'all the name just because if I move there obviously you know for security reasons but I will share with you guys you know the layout how it looks my experience because you know I want to see if the leasing agents are shady. Spoiler alert the leasing agents are shady yeah I listen y'all y'all will see in the next clip but yes spoiler alert the leasing agents very shady. So we'll see, but yeah, if your girl is just looking for a place so I don't become homeless on November 1st. Yeah, so there's that on that. All right, talk to y'all, bye. Hey y'all, I look gross. I ain't even brushed my teeth yet. Still got my retainer in, but today is Sunday. I did view apartments yesterday and editing me will take y'all through the apartments, but girl, I feel like I experienced like casual racism yesterday it was just weird because I haven't experienced racism in like a quick minute you know what I mean like in a quick minute so on one of the the first apartment that y'all are gonna see I called them now four days ago and was like hey I'd like to schedule an appointment to view a one-bedroom apartment and the lady was like oh, okay well we'll have a one-bedroom available by the time you're ready to move but right now we don't have one to show but we do have a two-bedroom apartment that you can come view on Saturday at 11 30. So I'm like okay cool you know what are your prices blah 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 they were like well the renovated ones are $13.50 and then the regular ones are $12.55 but we're only going to have renovated ones available by the time you're ready to move. So I was like that's fine that's all right I'll come on Thursday I mean excuse me I'll come on Saturday. So mind you because I had called I think Thursday um, but mind you when I called um I spoke to a lady I think she might have been Hispanic but either way that's not we're there's a reason why I'm saying that that's it's not for that reason that you're thinking we're gonna get to why in a second so I pull up with my homegirl Shayla because Shayla lives on that side of town so I'm like hey you know I really want to look at apartments in Kennesaw like can you help me she was like yeah girl I'll come with you to look at the apartments and I can kind of give you my viewpoint as well as like what are good areas and stuff like that even though most of Kennesaw is very nice from what I saw yesterday tell me why I pull up to the apartment complex and this lady I'm gonna call her uh Becky, Tabitha, Susan, um, you get the vibe. I see Susan at the front desk and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm here for my viewing. And she was like, huh? And I was like, yeah, I wanted to view a one bedroom apartment. And she was like, oh, we don't have any to view. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I spoke to someone on the phone. They said, you guys have a two bedroom that I can see because it'll still have the same look as the one bedroom. It's just obviously there's an extra room in there. And she was like, well, actually, right now at this very moment our two bedroom is getting painted and I was like but if it's getting painted then why was I given this time slot as to when to come in and I have the email and I show I literally hold up my phone and show her the email and she was like oh I'm sorry I forgot to cancel it but yeah it's getting painted right now like right now and I was like well if you guys didn't have anything to show then why did the lady I spoke to on the phone two days ago say that you guys had something to show and she was like oh yeah we just forgot to cancel it sorry mind you I keep asking her why the last lady I spoke to said that y'all did have something to show but she keeps like avoiding it and just saying it's being painted so I'm like oh well you know would I be able to come look closer to my move-in time because you know I, I the lady told me y'all would have a one bedroom available by November 1st when I'm trying to move and she was like oh well actually we won't know until like six days before so and by then you know it probably will be taken and in my mind I'm like bitch if you don't want me to live here you could just say that because when I spoke to the lady on the phone she was fine but suddenly when I come in here with my black ass and my best friend who's also black suddenly you don't you have nothing available but when I spoke on the phone with my nice Caucasian voice it was fine 
but but it gets better it gets better so she tells me she's like but if you want you know you can like put yourself on the waiting list and I'm like oh okay like can I do that girl tell me why in fact let me see if I have the paper and on the paper it literally says that to do it, I have to give them an admin fee of $85 and then the administrative fee of $225. And then if I get picked, then I still have to give them the security deposit of $200 or up to one month's rent. So before I leave there yesterday, she was like, I can put myself on the waiting list, but I basically have to pay $85 plus $225 for the admin fee plus $200 for my security deposit just to maybe not get the apartment that's the wild shit that she told me she literally was like yeah so you'll pay all of that and i'm like well what if i don't get the apartment and she was like it's all treated like a deposit which means literally i can pay because what 200 and 200 is 400 and the 85 that's damn near five i could pay almost 600 dollars to not get the apartment what is the point of that like and on top of that, none of that money that I pay goes towards my rent. So literally, I would still have to pay them $1,350 after the fact if I do get it. And if I don't, then I'm just out of, you know, $600 basically for no reason. So that lady i don't know like i said i haven't experienced casual racism in a minute but that just really put like a damper on how my whole you know apartment hunting started because i was like oh this bitch got me fucked up but the sad part is is like in kennesaw those are like the cheaper apartments like everywhere else was like sixteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars 1475 which is damn near fifteen hundred dollars like and for apartments that look very regular so I was just like, yo, people are really paying almost $1,700 for an apartment that looks worse than what I already have. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. There was that. And then I just feel like everywhere I was looking either had no availability, which means I don't know why I'll keep saying y'all have availability on your website when you don't have it in when I come in person. Or, you know, it could also just be more casual racism. I don't know. But I feel like everywhere I went, like on, because I looked, I literally went on the website and I booked the tours with their availability. Everywhere has availability online, but then suddenly when I show up in person, no one has anything. And if they do have something, they don't want to show it to me. So literally, I only got to view one apartment. I went to four different places and only one of them actually had like an apartment for me to look at. And even then, like I said, price wise, it wasn't worth the price. Like for the money that they were charging, it was not worth the price. But that's how that went. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clips and let editing me show y'all what I was able to see or the little bit of footage that I could get but i'm a little sad because like it's hard i was looking in marietta i was looking in roswell and i was looking in kennesaw kennesaw is too expensive for me i've already decided that so i think i'm just gonna try more in marietta and roswell it's just like it's hard because it's like i'm either gonna live really far or i'm gonna pay a lot of money like that's just the decision that i have now come to it's like i'm either gonna live 45 minutes out of the city kind of like what i do now i'm either gonna live hella far away and pay you know decent money or i'm gonna live close and i'm gonna be paying 15 16 seventeen hundred dollars and i just cannot afford to be paying seventeen hundred dollars for a regular apartment like the apartments be normal looking like if it's seventeen hundred dollars bitch it better come with a garage it better come with you know just like a washer dryer already installed the way they get you you can get a washer and dryer installed but it's a 45 dollar charge each month like that's the type of shit that they pull so it's like it does come with a washer and dryer but you're still paying for it throughout the you know the year already on top of the rent that you're already paying that's damn near seventeen hundred dollars so it's just you know it's very expensive but as we were driving around i wrote down the names of different apartments so that way um i can look them up and try to book you know i'm gonna call them first everywhere i'm going i'm calling first even though a lot of these hoes don't even answer their phones that's why i just be booking online because i call them and no one fucking answers and then when i leave a voicemail no one calls me back but whatever, um, I'm going to try to call these two places that I found. They're both like within my price range and they're both 
in the area that I like so I'll see if they have availability because like I said all these hoes be saying they're available three units available four units available online but then when I come in person suddenly y'all don't have nothing and I really think burnt Betty um that bitch at the first one that I went to I really think she was just lying like I genuinely think she was just lying because the lady I spoke to before her like I said I could tell it was not her because the voice was different she was very friendly she gave me a lot of information and she told me like they will have it available by that time because someone already signed saying that they won't be um renewing their lease because she told so if I have all this information that's how I know she was just like, again, polite racist or casual racism. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna call those two places and then I'm gonna go there next Saturday and I'm gonna still drive around um, Marietta anyway to see if I see anything else that I like. So, you know, we're hoping and praying for the best, but <sighs> finding an apartment is just a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I feel like that's just life. You just gotta take, you know, roll with the punches and keep going so that's it that's really all I had to talk to y'all about I'm gonna let editing me show y'all the little clips that I got um and yeah all right y'all so this is that apartment where I told y'all burnt Betty <laughs> didn't want me to live there I complained so much that they didn't have an apartment for me to view but I was told they would so she gave me a tour of the amenities she was like well I can show you the amenities so she took me to their gym their gym was nice I won't even lie to you. it was a very very nice gym it was very big very spacious they had a lot of different things there they also have another gym so they have two gyms this one actually the mirror i didn't show y'all but the mirror has workouts on it kind of like you know the peloton where it has like workouts on the machine their mirror has workouts on it which i thought was very cool i thought that was a nice touch now she brought me to their laundry facility they do have a laundry room but they also have washer and dryers that you can rent for 45 dollars, and they just added 45 dollars every time to your rent um, which I think a lot of apartments should start implementing because I really like that. But again, fuck her because she didn't want me to live at that apartment. Let me show my dad. Wow. This is really not, not the fireplace. Yes, and our fireplaces are gas. Now y'all showing that. And then we did for, we do purchase washing dryers for all of our residents and we charge them $40 a month. Oh, wow. Oh, so you don't even have to, like, bring your own. It's already installed. Right. Yes. Oh. Really nice. I see the stainless steel appliances. So our renovated package will be the granite countertops, the backsplash on the back, the cabinet, stainless steel fridge, stainless steel oven, and the dishwasher. Oh, wow. This is really nice. And if we look in here, the reason why, like, this property so much is different it's roommate style, so even the side room has a bathroom inside the room. Oh, wow. So it's two uh, bathrooms. Ooh, ooh. All right. This is so nice. And then over there, you know, it's a bigger bathroom with a more spacious closet. With more space. Hey, Sam. Shayla, you looking? <laughs> Like I said, yours is renovated, so. Ooh. Well, if you know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all got the fan. And by the way, whoever staged the house did fantastic. Yeah, we have a, a cherry decorating. This is so nice. Thanks so much for watching. That is the end of this video. Um, I am going to be touring more apartments that are more in my price range uh, this coming weekend. And I will take you guys along with me for that. I apologize that I didn't have more physical apartments to show you. But unfortunately, out of the four or five that I viewed on Saturday, all of them except that last one were at 100% capacity and didn't have anything for me to view. Of course, that one that I showed you before um, that had the gym that they showed me, they had one to view, but it was getting painted at the time. 
whatever um but i am going to try to show you guys more even if i'm just showing you guys like around their leasing office or just something so i am going to try to do more of that and i'll try to be more detailed i did show you guys like the prices this time as well as the locations um the one that i showed you guys where i showed you their leasing office in their gym that was in kennesaw that last one that i showed you was in marietta which i didn't know marietta was expensive too but you know we're gonna keep trying so please stick along with me in this journey of finding a new home um, but I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. More moving content and apartment hunting content on the way. <laughs>